Welcome to Arts North, your community connection for everything art in Northern BC. I'm your host, Michael Cast. For our very first segment here on Arts North, we'll be at Studio 2880 joining Cliff Mann. We're going to have a little conversation with him and discuss the opening of his show, Animal Farm. My name is Cliff Mann and I'm a watercolor artist. I first got involved with art probably in kindergarten to be honest. It's been forever. Um, I did some oil painting courses when I was in elementary school with my dad and from there I just fell in love with it. What brought me to watercolor was probably the challenge that comes with watercolor. It's, uh, it's, if you make a mistake it's hard to go back and so I think just the challenge really kind of pushed me through to really want to learn the medium. The theme of the show came from uh, a photograph that I got from my uh, from family. Uh, they sent a picture, close-up picture of a chicken and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to paint that someday and that someday turned into like half an hour later. So I, I just had to paint it and once I started I couldn't stop and finish the painting in one sitting and from there, I think, you know, I shared it with some friends and with Lisa from the studio here and she thought, oh, that's, that's a good idea for, for a show. I chose the other subjects. Um, I've always had some photos on standby to paint someday and so it was just a perfect opportunity to, to finally get to them. The color palette that I use is, is pretty basic, pretty much your primary colors. Um, I, I'll probably never use a green out of the tube. I'll try and mix most of the colors I can use in the primaries. So, and that's what I've done for each piece here in the show. I can speak to the horse painting. Um, her name is Penny. And um, about four years ago, uh, she was one of 116 horses that was um, rescued from a, from a man down in Armstrong and she was put up for auction and uh, a lady out in Fraser Lake bid on her, got Penny, fell in love with Penny and uh, ever since then it's, she's been healthy and happy and living the dream. I don't necessarily have a favorite painting, it, it's funny you ask that because you, you kind of fall in love with each piece that you're doing at the time, um, not right away, each painting I do at some point during the process I hate it and I want to rip it up. Um, I'm sure a lot of artists are like that, uh, but I try and push through to the final piece and determine at the end whether, right? Um, it's a lot of times when, when you paint the eyes in, in these animals, it, they really do come to life. And so when, when I had to bring them down to the studio, it was, uh, was kind of sad to see them all go, right? It is, yeah. So, like them all, I guess. I'd like to thank Studio 2080 for the opportunity to, to show my artwork again. Um, they've always been great to work with. And uh, I must say, um, my fiance Farah, who's put up with horse pictures, donkey pictures, a uh, kitchen table that hasn't been cleaned uh, for about two and a half months because it's been cluttered with watercolor paint and paper and you name it. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me today on Arts North. If you're in the neighborhood, don't forget to stop by Studio 2080's feature gallery and check out Cliff Mann's artwork in person. Check out our next installment when we sit down with Darren Corbier and discuss some of his original indigenous art that includes fluorescent inks and black lights. Just a little teaser for you here on Arts North. Mm -hmm.